it's Stephen Emma here from Showrooms Online and we're filming our Christmas special um, and we're at The Hollies by Linden Homes in Nosal, which is just on the outskirts of Staffordshire. Now the house type we're going to view today is this beautiful house type, five bedroom, Inkbury. What a lovely house type, you can see the detail. Now I haven't seen many big Linden Homes houses before because um, they're a rel relatively new developer in this region but oh you're not disappointed I mean just look how beautiful it is you've got that mix of that mellow brickwork look at the detail on the pitch of the roof there that crisp white render really nice and it's, it's look it looks very Christmassy from the outside um, it looks a beautiful house without further ado let's go and take a look around hello Emma hello. welcome to the Inkberry by Inkberry, 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 Inkberry by Inkberry. Linden Homes at yes. the Hollies in Nosal. It takes in Staffordshire, I'm sure, I, I, I believe. So, and it's a Christmas box. Yes, I love um, the Christmas This tree. is well, beautiful, yeah. This yeah. is another part of our Christmas special. It is right. So this is a five-bedroom detached house. Yeah. This is a, a um, development. How many houses are we on this development? Fifty-five. Yeah. And I think there's thirty-three that are privately owned. Yeah, it's a lovely development. A lot of a lot of bigger be. executive houses. And this is about half a million, this one? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway. Oh, we're flashing them. Lovely big entrance hall as well, haven't we? I mean, that's the perfect place for your tree, isn't it? Yeah. And you know I'm a sucker for a Christmas tree. I love it. Right, where to go? Um, I think we are reversed so if we start on this side, okay. through the double doors. So we've got double doors into lounge. this. Yeah. This is your living room. Oh, this lounge. Actually, it's a deceptive because it, it does come out slightly um, to the front there a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Right. Dimensions. 6 metres 16 by 4 metres 30. Beautifully dressed. Absolutely gorgeous. They've gone for the Christmas theme, haven't they? Yeah. So you've got your bay there at the front. They've got two large sofas, large pieces of furniture. It's an exceptionally big living room. Nice bay that is, looking at just overlooking their bedrooms. And this is right on the outskirts of, of Nosal, literally bordering the countryside. Nice it very, makes it easier to get your furniture. Very, very good quality it? as yeah. well. Nice fin nice door furniture as well. Well there behind oh I should yeah. show you. Emma has this habit mm. of not watching yeah. me where I'm filming. So over there behind the Christmas tree I was going to say there is a, a door which I think is a kind of cupboard. Yeah. For coats and what have you. We've got another door here. Which yeah. is your downstairs cloak room. So it's quite nice. It's uh, it is quite quite big and spacious. You've got push flush there. Um, really nice little corner sink and a little radiator squeezed in there. Bikes on the wall. Yeah. We had that, didn't we? In yeah. our downstairs cloak room, lovely with bikes. Right, we've got a study then on this side, which is oh excuse me, I'm losing my voice a bit. Three meters nine by two meters three. Yeah, so it's front facing. Yeah, it's a good size. Yeah, that's a really good window there to it as well. Yeah, it's very good. Because oft, often the study always counts up the smallest, pokiest window. Yeah. But that's actually got a really good good window. I mean, it could be a playroom, it could be a second lounge. Or even a bedroom, thing for a bedroom. But you've got <coughs> plenty of sockets in here. You've also got a um, foam point as well. It's cool. It's a room on its own, isn't yeah. it? I do like the way you've got the stairs in front of you. I tell you what, you this, yeah, you this would give David Wilson houses a run for their money, wouldn't it? I think it would give a lot of mm. large developers a run for their money. Ooh, what have we got there? Oh, that's a nice kitchen, isn't it? That's very Christmassy, isn't it? Oh, wow, look at this. This is high spec. This is beautiful. So take a look at, at the distance between here and that family room down there. Dimensions wow. for in here are 11 metres and 89 centimetres in length, 4 metres 59 centimetres in width. It's 
So let's start down here in the family room. Is that what it's classed as? It's classed as kitchen, dining, family room, yes. Oh, and haven't they gone to town with the Christmas dressing? Yeah. Absolutely lovely. So they've got two sofas, TV. Very, very nice, isn't it? I think this is actually going to win the most Christmassy show, yes. home, isn't it? But it's really nice, isn't it? The detail that they've gone to. It's beautiful. So they've laid the table here for Christmas lunch. And this is actually the first time I've seen any executive style houses from Linden. Mm. Predominantly they've been doing a lot of smaller properties. We didn't but mention that at that end you've got a window there in your family area. Yeah, that's you've, a, you've got French doors here in the middle. That was a big area, isn't it? And then this beautiful, beautiful kitchen. We'll be there in a minute. Yeah. Let's have a look then. So, so where should we start? So you've got a, a raised breakfast area on this is that, side. That's, is that granite? Yeah. It's lovely, isn't yeah. it? You've got a multitude of ovens, grills, microwaves. There's, there's everything going on here. So we're well, net appliances. Yeah. So let me say, so you've got, we've got a microwave. We've got a, um, that's a a grill that does. As I said, a multitude of ovens and grills. Look okay, out, we're yeah. just trying to dig into what they are. Right, so on this side, plenty of cupboard space. It's lovely, isn't it, with the island? We've got one of those. Is that the socket thing that comes up? Okay. Mind. Okay, anybody knows what that is? I mean, yeah, you know, know. I, I know everybody does that. I mean, they and do. Here, integrated dishwasher, beautiful sink, cupboards, plenty of cupboard space, lots of eye line cupboards. Wow, look at this for a, for a hog that's cut in as you well. You don't see many net appliances, do you? I don't think I've ever seen one like this either. Yeah, it's been cut in. I don't. No, I mean the actual. Yeah, but look at the worktop. You've actually got a join in the middle there. Yeah, but that's more to do with the length. Yeah. Isn't it? You wouldn't get a piece of granite that long. I, I, I do appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Right, so we've got drawers underneath, and then more cupboards below. This will be the fridge freezer. Over here. There's your freezer and there's your fridge. So it's a very high spec kitchen, isn't it? So this breakfast it bar continues is. around here. Yeah. And then you've got, got another cupboard. Yeah. There. So let me just look on this side. Yeah, so you've got cupboards all on that side as well. Yeah. I already opened those. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, all right. Right, so well, here's I was just looking for myself. We have got a utility room here. I can hear the boiler, so that must be in here. There you go. Right, we've got one appliance, two appliances, so plenty of room for a washer and dryer to be separate. There's all your controls for the central heating. You've got a door there to your rear garden, to the side of the house. It's got a nice little radius. A splash of colour in here as well. Yeah. It's a good size, it's got a sink. Fabulous, and you can shut the door on all the mess. I like that. This is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's move on. Just give the viewers a quick pan around and show them. Take a look upstairs. So let's just have a look at the uh, yeah. gallery up there. So there's a bit of a gallery you can see. Let's go up and have a look. Okay, right, first floor then. 
So we are reverse to plan. So this landing is very spacious, isn't it? Let me just have a little pan around that. She's got that big window on the landing. It is, again, I've said this already this week. It's a, actually last week, it's a room in itself, isn't it? It certainly is, it's beautiful. But I think if we start at the back, on that side, that's bedroom three. Wow, this is beautiful. And a large bedroom. Right, bedroom three, four metres 13, three metres 15. And it's Mia's bedroom. So they've got fitted wardrobes there. We're not sure what's included, what's, uh, what's an upgrade. I've seen this wallpaper before that looks yeah. like a knitted jumper. It's really lovely. So, this shares the a door with the family bathroom. It's a good idea, isn't it, to do yeah. that? Yeah. Well, it makes you feel like you've got an ensuite. It does. <laughs> in a way. Even though really you haven't, but it feels <laughs> like it. <laughs> you've got a family bathroom. So, let's have a look. What We've got a really nice bath there as well. That's, that's nice. It's, yeah, it's got a shower head. Yeah. Suspended sink. So, we've got a rush here. Um, Toilet with a built-in system. Yeah push flush and this gigantic big towel rail here. It's beautifully tiled isn't it? Yeah. And it's got Sleek, a very nice flooring as well. And you've got the contrast on this wall yeah. as well. It's so it's got everything bathroom. you need. Uh, it's got everything you need. Shaver point etc. Very very nice indeed. Well then here back at the front of the house you've got bedroom two. Wow. They're all good size rooms, aren't they? They are. So, as I was saying to you guys, I do like the frontage on these wardrobes. Very, very nice. Aren't yeah, they? she just interrupted me there, Sorry. didn't she? As I was saying to you guys earlier on, you can see we are literally on the outskirts of the countryside. Just look at the view from here. It is literally just countryside. You can't go wrong with a position like this for a development, can you? And what do we know about No Soul then, Emma? Bedroom two. It's a it's a it, it's a, a small town, isn't it? Oh, it's a village. It's actually a village. I think it's a village. Yeah, it is. But it's got a growing village. It's got a lovely little little kind of high street going up it, hasn't it? Yeah. Really it's nice. Yeah, it is. But it, you're, quite really close, really you're quite close. You're quite close. You've got Newport on one side. You've got Stafford on the other. Uh -huh. Sandwich right between the middle of them. Yeah, you're not too far from the M6 if if you need yeah. to travel elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. Right. Bedroom two, four meters thirteen by three meters twenty seven. This bedroom has got an ensuite. Some nice light coming in there. So it's got the towel rail, it's got the push flush, the washer, sanitary wear, and a double shower cubicle as well. Gosh, it's huge, isn't it? It's a lovely large mirror as well. Show the viewers the mirror. And no, because that shows moss. Well, you can show them how big it is. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I love this house. I love this landing. Just that little landing, it's just got almost frames of view there, doesn't yeah, you it? You can have a sofa on here, yeah, you could, yeah. It's so big. Right, so at the front, then this is bedroom four. Even the smallest bedrooms are. are it's beautiful. Are almost as, in, in other developers, it's just. This is just like the box room, yeah. it isn't it? It's huge. You could fit a double bed in here, yeah. easily, couldn't you? This ain't no box room. Three metres 90 by two metres 83. The interior design is beautiful. There's a door here, which is your cylinder, but there's also room in the cupboard. Yeah, you can just see the Christmas tree down there, then this lovely gallery. Okay, so leave that one. 
That's the master bedroom. Oh. We'll go in here. This is bedroom five. Again, another big, big yeah, room. Another big bedroom. Three meters sixty-seven by three meters fifteen. I like that. <laughs> you could you could easily fit a double bed in here as well, yeah. without a doubt. I'm looking at the, the, the houses that have been built already and you can see they all get a decent fence, don't they? None of that flimsy stuff, so really good quality. And then last of all, bedroom one. And this is beautiful. This is actually similar to what we, if you look. Yes. Yeah, this is something we've done at home actually, is our TV is in the wardrobe. So when the doors are closed, it all disappears. There we go, look. So you see, everything is hidden. Yeah. And it's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then if you want to watch telly, there you go, you open it up. Right, dimensions, bedroom one. 4 meters 31 by 3 meters 90. You could fit a much bigger bed in here if you wanted. Substantially bigger actually. Do you know, I think the two rooms at the front have got a nicer view than bedroom yeah, one. Yeah. Because this overlooks everyone's back gardens, doesn't yeah. it? With the still the front countryside the beyond. So yeah. the ensuite almost I exactly identical to the the one in bedroom is it two? Bedroom three at the front, wasn't it? Yeah. Bedroom two. But it's identical in every way, just yeah. by the tiling. But actually you've got that double shower cubicle as well. It's really, really nice. So in some respects you could have bedroom two as your master bedroom yeah. if you wanted. Yeah. I suppose you could put the fitted wardrobes in there as yeah. well. I mean, imagine the fitted wardrobes, we wouldn't know how big the room would be. Yeah. It is beautiful. Okay. Well, let's take a little look out of the, uh, the window at the front again. Wow, what a treat. Countryside living, hey? Absolutely beautiful. Countryside living, yep. our showrooms online Christmas special, the Ink... Ink... Inkbury. Inkbury. Thing, Inkberry, which is by Lyndon Holmes yeah. at the Hollies in Nosel. And I was actually saying on the way up here with the development named as the Hollies, yeah, they've got to do the Christmas thing, yeah, they? yeah. And I think that's and we hope you've enjoyed that. We yeah. certainly we've loved looking at all these Christmas houses. Yeah. in the last week you or know, two. But, I mean, some in the special aren't, aren't, aren't Christmas houses, but they're, there's snow on the ground, etc. You yeah. know, that's the same it's thing. We're trying to keep it as festi festive as we can. But what a great house type, what a great beautiful. development. Yeah. Um, and I will put all the information for this beautiful house in the description box down below, so don't forget to take a look. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a Christmas thumbs up, because uh, we'd really like that. And also, you could leave us a review on our Facebook page if you've found it interesting or useful to you if you're buying a new home. But other than that, Merry Christmas, and we will catch you on our next video. Bye.